Hey, what's going on everybody? Ronnie's Reviews, back with another video. Today's video is gonna be an update, kind of like a part two to the dashboard trim mod that I put in a couple days ago, as well as an update to the apartment that we're moving into. So make sure you stay tuned throughout the whole video because I will be installing the rest of the lining into the door panels and the rear door panels, as well as tell you more about the, our plans for the apartment, whether it's gonna be first floor, second or third floor, and more stuff that we have planned coming up in the future. So make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video. All right, so as far as the trimming goes around the dashboard and steering wheel and all that, I kind of gave a rough estimate measurement on how much they actually gave me. And I guess it was kind of around what they said it was, which they labeled it as 118 inches, which is just under 10 feet. And I guess it was around that. I didn't pull it out and, you know, straighten it out and measure it that way because that would have been too much work to try and do all that when I had already put in most of it. So it was just a rough estimate, but I guess it does kind of amount to the amount of length that they said it was. So. I'm not gonna trip about it, but I am going to buy more. I just thought I was gonna cover more space. But like I said, I'm gonna buy more. I'm gonna do the rest of my dash. There's just a little bit around the control knobs that I have to do. And then I'm gonna do the door panels and the rear door panels. So hopefully one more pack should cover the door panels and the rear door panels. And then that'll be pretty much it. And then I'll show y'all how that will look as well, obviously, as I'm doing the, the mod. I just left work right now, so I still have to drive home and put the deposit down for the apartment. And I think what it's looking like is we're gonna go with the apartment on the first floor, which I think will be better because the third floor, like I said, the vaulted ceilings are cool and everything, but with that floor plan, it just didn't really go well. And we had vaulted ceilings with our first one bedroom at that apartment complex. And it looked good because the entire con, not, and it looked good because the entire apartment was vaulted and not just the living room or the kitchen. So it tied in a lot better. But with the two bedroom, the only thing that's vaulted is the kitchen. And so it doesn't really look good. Plus the lighting in the kitchen that they have for the vaulted ceiling in the kitchen looks awful, it looks disgusting. So that was pretty much a no-go as soon as we saw that. So we'll be doing the apartment on the first floor and whenever we get a chance to go in there and show you what that one looks like, then I'll do that. But they're still cleaning it up and making sure that it's ready for when we move in, which should be about August 1st is what it's looking like. But yeah, we're going with the first floor for the apartment. We're still moving into the two bedrooms, same, same floor plan and everything. But it's just gonna be the first floor. So it's gonna have those lights that hang down in the kitchen. And I think it's just gonna look a lot better. If you haven't seen the first video, I'm gonna put the link in the description below. So make sure you go check that out just to kind of get a, an idea of how the apartment will look. Just it'll have the lights how I have in my apartment right now, which is the one bedroom. It'll have those lights that hang down everything. It'll look a lot better, I promise. So just make sure you stay tuned for those updates that are coming soon with the apartment when we actually get a chance to go into the apartment to look at it. But as far as everything else goes, I don't have a bunch of mods set in place right now. I do have some that I want to do but we have a lot of stuff moving around right now as far as money wise. So I won't be able to do a bunch of mods right now, but as soon as I get a chance, I will do them. I'm still gonna try and get my window tint put in pretty soon, possibly lower it, cause that's really not too bad, not too expensive. The only thing that's really gonna have to wait is putting in the red leather seats, which might have to wait another month or two, but that's really not too bad. So like I said, I'm on my way home right now, but whenever I purchase the trimming and get ready to put it in, I'm gonna cut it back on and let y'all see what it looks like and what all I have to do as far as installing it. It's gonna be pretty much the same thing as the dash, just a little bit different with the door panels. It might, it might be a little bit tougher, but it won't be too bad. So I'll see y'all when we get there, all right? All right, guys, so 
I ran into AutoZone and I ran into O'Reilly Auto Parts and neither of them had any more trimming. Whenever I first went to AutoZone and bought it, they only had one package. So what I might have to do is either call different auto zones to see if they have it or just order some online. But I was really trying not to do that because then that will delay the process of finishing everything out. But what I did get instead is this lens repair kit. And the reason I got this is not because any of my bulbs or anything are broken, but it is a cheap fix for when you open the doors and the light that shines down is like yellowish, you can put this little overlay on it and it'll shine down red or at least a type of red rather than having it just shine down yellowish and I'll show you what I'm talking about. And so when I open the door, see that light how it's yellowish? If you put the little film around that, then it'll come out red or, or you know, a little bit red, but it won't be yellow. So I'm gonna go ahead and try that and see how that looks. That way, you know, when I open my doors, it'll shine down red right there. It'll look a lot better than just yellow. Also, I might try to put some on the little light bulb back there. So whenever I turn on the car and these bottom lights aren't on, that will still shine a little bit red. So when I open the door, everything will be red instead of having some red lights like right here and then having that yellow and then having that yellow. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this right now and it should be pretty simple. Like I said, it's just an adhesive that you put over your lights and it really shouldn't be hard at all. You can trim it with your knife or whatever you trim it with. Uh, I have my knife from work is what I'm gonna be trimming it with. And so when you open the package, it's, this is what it looks like. And the reason it looks like this is because there's you know, the little overlay on the back. So whenever I peel that off, it'll be red see-through. And so I'm gonna try and put it over the light bulb and everything to kind of measure it out and cut what I need to, and then put it on under and see how it looks. And if it looks good, then I'll buy more. If not, then I'll just take it off. But it should look better than just having the yellow lights shining through everything. And as far as the update for the trimming, I haven't really done much as I ran out of the trimming, but like I said, I've done around the dash and the steering wheel. And then I did around here, which looks pretty good. And then that was literally all I had left. And so I had to find somewhere to put it and that's where I put it. It's not gonna be like that forever. Obviously, once I buy more, then I'll probably take this off and put it all the way around and then find somewhere to put that. And then, like I said, and then, like I said, I'll put it around the door panel and probably right here as well. But I'm gonna go ahead and open the door and put this over and see how much I need to trim off and then peel off and put it on there and we'll see how it looks. So this is what it looks like after putting the overlay film on there. So it, it does look pretty good. And that's what it looks like with the, the film on the ball. It looks pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. It obviously is not gonna be as bright as it is without the overlay, but it's really not that bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of under the doors and then maybe the little bulbs inside and then I'll cut this back on whenever I'm done to show you what it looks like. All right guys, so this is what it looks like around the entire car with the red overlay put on. And for under here, I put it on, but as you can see, you can't really see anything. So I'm not really worried about that because I can just click my lights on like that, but that's what it will look like. And I need to get this bulb probably changed to red as well. But that's what it looks like right there, guys. So that's going to do it for today's video, guys. I guess there will be a part three since I couldn't find more trimming to do around my car. But I did add in a little extra, little cheap mod. And that only cost me like a dollar or so. 
So if you don't want to buy bulbs and go through the process of taking that cover piece off and you know going through the whole thing of trying to put a red bulb in there, you can always put red overlay. And they have a bunch of other colors as well that you can put on there. So that's another cheap mod you can do to your 2019 Dodge Charger, GT, RT, Scat Pack, Hellcat, whatever you got. But like I said, that's going to do it for today. I guess be looking out for a part three to this video. Um, if you haven't seen part one, I'm going to put the link in the description below. Other than that, if you like this video, go ahead and smash that like button. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so. If you have any suggestions on any other mods or anything that you would like for me to do, go ahead and comment down below. I am going to put lowering springs on it pretty soon, as well as window tint. I just don't know when, but that will be some of the soon coming videos. So make sure you subscribe so you can stay tuned. So whenever I do put in the window tint and put the lowering springs on my Dodge Charger, you'll get notified for it and you'll be able to watch it. Other than that, I'll catch y'all later, man. I'm out.